stayed up late. Woke up late. Now it's time to relax. Continue the Mass Effect number two. So, number three, I'm trying to be romantic with Jack. Number four, I'm trying to be romantic with Tally. Let's see, eight minutes after midnight. Before midnight. Um, I guess we're continuing on the Tally path. I don't know, the Jack's more interesting. <clears throat> but no, we're continuing on the Tally path. Just make sure I'm in the tally path. I think I am. Yeah. stop the collectors yet because that's the main mission. You see so Jacob do that to make him loyal. Hmm. May provide the information Layar needs. Harris Fane. Okay, yeah, let's do this one. So observation lounge. I'm glad you came. That's what she said. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I remember hearing her called an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours. Hmm. Burns it out. Oh, she's like a praying mantis. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Hmm. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three hmm. exist today. 
too, chose a life of seclusion. But then <coughs> I ran. Morith. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy mm. she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... Oh, monster. shit. She is my daughter. Hmm. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. Huh? My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter, and kill her. Hmm? We'll go find Morinth. That's a crazy mission. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything <coughs> else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. So there's no confusion.
actually Jacob asked first for help, so let's help Jacob. He's been waiting patiently. Detected an anomaly. Launching probe. Mine at first. Now we're going to land. MSV Hugo Gerns back. Registration BW4610034087. Probe launched. Something on our sensors. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Hey, welcome to the stream. Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override, beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Hmm. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Hmm. That's not right. My father was first officer. It's the first time I'm playing this game, by the way. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? 
Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the mm. crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, mm. but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the mm. authority of acting captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. After 10 years, it must have. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as you... Okay, let's go. Uh oh. I guess that's it in here.
You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. Hmm. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Oh shit. What? Kill them. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. Weapons ready. <laughs> On target! Come on over! One down. Nothing faster than to pick up on pause. Okay, they're crazy. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Hmm. All These women. These people seem calm, but they're part of the same group as the ones that attacked us. Oh, I caught it. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. That's possible. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. Hmm? He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. <laughs> Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Hmm. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like... The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He keeps us. Protects us. And we please him like he demands. Hmm. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Yes. Gravity is one thing for the huh? Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. He's gunning down his own crew to keep control? That's horrible. Well, that would... Please, here. 
you have his face, but you fight his machines. Hmm? You might stop this. This, <coughs> I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Hmm. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food hmm. and for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. Mm. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers. Oh, shit. Pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he mm. allowed here, Shepard, I don't see any justification. Mm. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? Hmm? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Hmm. Yo, with the bomb, dude. Get back. <laughs> this is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. It looks like the old bodies were posed like a warning. The newer bodies were just left wherever they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Yo. Get 
ready to fight. Yo! Oh, fuck. We rally the power system. I've got him. Got him! We rally the power What's up, big boy? He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Guys, he ain't even shooting with me. Help me out. It took years to train my guards. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh fuck. Looking for cover. Time to bring the boot boy out. For bonuses first. All right, what's up, You're buddy? Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. 
I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Mm -hmm. Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob. My Jacob? Now everyone knows everything. I want to hear you try and justify this. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure mm. the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon mm. was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day. I was the one with the mechs. Mm. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did mm. the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that.
down to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain <laughs> Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on. We've got work to do. Hi, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. And a loyal crew member. Let's see what upgrades we got coming. Same biotic damage. Ooh, a squad bonus. Let's go for that. Hell yeah. I think that's all I'll be able to afford at this point. Oh. Okay. Morgan has anything new to say? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Hmm. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Past relationship with Talizora makes dalliance attractive as stress release. Still, recommend caution. Quarry an immune system hmm. weak could kill her. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Tali Zora acquired antiseptic. <laughs> Recommend you self-sterilize as well. Oral contact with tissue dangerous. Take precautions. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions <laughs> comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. <laughs> Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. <laughs> Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less uh -huh. alcohol and mood music required. All righty. How may I help you, Commander? 
Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I know, you just told me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. <clears throat> and I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. How's Grunt doing? Shepard. What's up, Grunt? Just checking in. How you doing? <laughs> I was just... just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. Mm. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Hmm. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. All righty. Now 
Shepard, we're going to do his sun mission. Is it time to visit the Citadel yet? Not yet. I shall return to my meditations. Anything new to say? I hope we can go to Omega soon. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, of course. <clears throat> Where's Miranda? I forget. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. There we go. Alright. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny. Something we don't share. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. You. The Krogan. All right, let's see what we're doing here now. Um, let's see. Help Garrus. Help Fane. Help Samara. Uh, let's do Samara. Omega. Messages for you, Commander.
probe away. That's what she said. Probe away. launched. Rich. Launching probe. Launching probe. Element zero. Launching probe. Two for one. Probe away. Quick. Oh, delivered. Yep, got an Amazon delivery. Bring that in front of real quick. All right. 
right, this will be my project tomorrow. Got a camera, a microphone, capture card. Going to try a more pro stream. That'll be an experiment for tomorrow. All right. Find that mission. There we go. Take her away. Damn it. I wanted to customize the squad. All right, here we go. Yeah, we didn't do her yet. Give her max power. Here we go, what do we got? More damage. We're pretty close either way. We're going with more damage though. Ooh, she still's got power. to Omega. I thought that's where I am now. Okay. This is the death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Hmm. human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that I can handle. Are the Vorcha going to be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work.
Come on, let me in. Shake it, baby. What's up? You want to talk? Talk to Aria. How's it going? What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl, pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. <clears throat> Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. I'm in an important business. Hmm? Wow. <sighs> I wish this would have fast travel, but yeah, it's just me. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I heard you talking about us. What do you want? Please, please, we're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. Uh, nothing, nothing sounds shady about that, right? What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel, and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package, and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends! Mm. Hello again, my friends. Damn it, Please I would walk by. For me. I'll have to come back well, later. since I just uh, stepped away for two seconds, you should know I don't, but okay. Alright, here we go. That's what happens when the X is select and also run. <clears throat> I like a game like Uncharted, like the knob, like the further you push it, the faster you run. Why can't it just be that? Why you gotta push it X? Why you gotta push it in? Just, 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 you know? It's a range of motion. Let's see here. Fucking apartments. I do not like this map. Missed the indicator. Which 
points me where to go. Alright, so according to this, the apartment should be to my left a little bit. I guess here. Is it? No, that's a shut of the quarantine zone, not the apartments. Oh my god. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was mm -hmm. murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures oh. and hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. Mm -hmm. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... That... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a flower inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... <clears throat> the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. For, for, for fresh. fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Hmm. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. entry. Hey diary, cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then 
I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. <laughs> you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Whoa! She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be what? in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust Let's me. Let's do it. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Lower afterlife VIP area. Okay, right and left. I think. Kent. Kent. People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Going in unarmed. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. 
when you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Huh? Hmm. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Hmm. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? Uh? That'll require careful timing. <laughs> I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Let's get started. Let's Shepherd, do it! Shepard, you get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. The old save game? Just to be safe. Alright, now what? Dude, get out of my way. Are we going there or there? I guess here. Alright. What's up, bitch? Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away. Don't be like that. I got credits. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Hmm? Oh, it doesn't show us? Come on, dude. Huh? Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Hey. Hey. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. The music here used to be avant-garde. Couldn't dance to it, but you felt the strings here are so strong. I'm not complaining. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here! So a round of drinks on the house! Hmm? My name is Morin. Oh. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. <laughs> I've got a booth over here in the shadows. 
Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Hmm. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. But violence is such a charming way to reach that end. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? There are certain pieces that grab me. What really moves you? If I saw an image of you, that would move me. Oh, that's, um, uh... sweet of you to say. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Hmm. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? You wouldn't have heard of anything I like. You think my taste in music is shallow? Is my opinion that important to you? It must be. I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halas? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment hey. is in I want you alone. if you want but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now I love clubs people movement heat I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood but here it's muted and you're safe is that what you want Shepard people feel safest right before they die it's true I'm never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Hmm? Let's stop playing games. to my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want hmm don't count on it but you who are you oh no mm -hmm. I see what's going on the bitch herself found a little helper Marin Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this.
Hmm. Oh, man. Choices. Oh, shit. This is crazy. I'm going to go for it. Lawrence will be more useful. You will regret your choice. Oh shit! <laughs> what did I do? Goodbye, mother. Why did I do that? I don't, I don't know if I would have do that choice. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. I think I'm gonna load the game and undo it though. Thank you, Shepard. Mm -hmm. My mother was as powerful as she was hateful. You helped me. Now I'll help you. Let me take my mother's place on your team. You don't seem to care at all about the death of your mother. Why should I? She was dead to me long ago. But I'll keep her alive for you so you don't have any complications with your crew. I'm a dead ringer for my belated mother. Few people can tell us apart. And I've practiced long and hard to mimic her in every way. If I closed my eyes, I'd swear you were Samara. It took years to perfect, but when I was younger, Posing as my mother brought its advantages. Mm. How do you think I originally escaped from Bessia? Let me just slip into this horrible uniform and none will be the wiser. I'd like to look around a bit first. Take your time. I'll be ready whenever you are. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win, just before you kill him. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. All right, we're going to load the game. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Nah. The mother had a cold, so I'm going to go with the mother. I just was curious to see what would happen. So. Do you remember everything? We cannot risk any mistakes. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. We only get one chance? Uh, apparently she doesn't know she lives in a simulation and that has a low Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. <laughs> relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. Playing hard to get? Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone! Don't be like that. I got credits. We'll go back to my place. She said I leave me alone, tastes. bitch boy. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Hey. Hey. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. You're breathing on my drink. I'm here to dance. Jean Dula Marnier. 
What'll you have? These are good people, but you got a round of drinks. Listen up, everyone! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Some nights I come here and there's no one in. Tonight it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most... Yes. When I travel, I find Violent myself. places? Violence is the surest expression. When you're the most powerful, you're safe. Is safety really all you want out of life? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? You've got quite an imagination. I thought you did as well. Art comes in mm -hmm. many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halix? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Let's get it. Gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows your bet. I love clubs. People. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Hmm. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Hmm? Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. to my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want don't count on it but you who are you hmm? oh no I see what's going on the bitch herself found a little helper Marin Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> yeah. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Mm, killing her own daughter. Ay, ay, ay. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? 
I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. I want to look around a bit more. Very well. I will remember the day of Morin's birth. Tell me when you are ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Oof. Alright, let's do Thane next. Ooh, the Citadel as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, both? Two Citadel missions. Okay, that'll be nice. Alright. find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Ooh, what is this? Fuck it, we got the money. Let's spend it. Boosting up, baby. Yeah. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. End. End is not. Normandy. Okay, so... Oh, 
Which way am I going? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should You have unread me- Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm... I don't want to risk your health. Thank you. I want you to see what's on... I'll find a way. Ten, ten, twenty. Where's the dragon one? There it is. Fifteen and ten. Uh, it looks cool, but it's not. Let's see. So power damage is fifteen. Okay. Negotiation. Yeah, we're gonna go with this just because it looks badass. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we didn't talk to the Joker for a while. Let's see what the Joker has to say. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lying, uh. sexy, and never mind. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Give me one moment. I'm taking off my shirt. Because I don't pretty far away see, because I can see the electric.
All right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. No messages for you, Commander. Help Thane. Got loyalty, still loyal. He's loyal, loyal, loyal. Can't get him yet. Loyal, nice, nice. So everybody is loyal except for Garrus. Yeah, we just need Garris to be loyal next. Alright. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. 
What was it you called Mounts? The duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull mm. a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Shepard. Laugh it up, Tally. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. Huh. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. Hmm? Sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyad plans to assassinate someone. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank <laughs> you, Shepard. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Dark Star on the upper market level. Dark Star. Darkstar Lounge, upper level. Huh. <sighs> if it only had an indicator which way to walk through, the game would be so much more available. That's how it was on, uh... Master 1. You'd click and it would show the arrow where to go to. Aha, there is Dark Star. Gotta scrap my for a second. Hold on. My little rubby rub. Mm. Remind me in 30 minutes to stop playing the game. Thirty minutes I'm taking a uh, food break.
Will it be? Let's have another one. There you are. And I'll drink it right through my my helmet. Anything yeah. else? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I'm done for now. All right. Hmm. Find mouse near the dark store on the upper market level. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. We need you to answer some questions. The people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. As the people I work for? We don't have time for this. Oh, oh God, Dane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I carried for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. It's seriously bad news. I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Just go away, man. Mouse. I'm sorry, too. Just go. That 
couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Let's head back to Bailey. Is there anything to buy here? Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenir. We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. associate son you talked to mouse did you get the name of the guy he's working with Elias Kellum Kellum shit uh, look this is awkward Kellum and I have a, an agreement he doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me in return I ignore him he pays you off you were eager to help us before what about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. If I'm lucky, Kellum will mm -hmm. believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. <laughs> Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Hmm. Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. Who the hell are you two? someone 
You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think you are? Mr. Kellum, I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out as soon as Bailey gets here. Bailey isn't here. We are. You're dealing with us. Got it? What are you, frog boy? His little apologist? Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Works for me. No! <laughs> do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Hmm? I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talit. Dorian in the 800 blocks. <laughs> He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. He'll wake up with a headache. No permanent damage. We have Kolyat's target. Let's get to Talit before he does. Agreed. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Hmm. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? I'll be in the shadows. The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the words come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the council's support. Taking. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. He's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
Oh, now where did he go? Uh, I lost him. Shepard, what's his status? I don't know. I don't think we can pick up this trail again. I'm heading to Delete's apartment. Meet me there. Load game. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Mm -hmm. I'm following. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Oh, can't save it. It's just going that way. No problem so far. How do I get there? Run, run, run. Run, motherfucker, run. Oh, fuck. Shit. Load the game. No, we're gonna try that again, you bastard. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. <laughs> He's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. Shepard, what's his status? Oh, that's where he was. Nope, not yet. We're gonna get this fucker. If I have to load this six times in a row, we're gonna get this mission, goddammit. With you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. I'm following. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. Don't let him get away. I'm losing him. Stay close. I don't think we can pick up his trail again. I'm heading to Talit's apartment. Dude! I was there. Oh, I gotta stay close again. Even though I know where he's gonna go, I have to stay close. Oh, fuck you. No. I wish I would to automatically load the end. Just like, now I gotta wait, wait, wait. Alright, and load. Alright. It's been one. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Know where he's going, but I don't know how to keep up with him. I'm following. Because my path is blocked. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. No problem so far. Now this is the part that's going to get fucked up. Because once he goes here, how the hell do I get there? I don't know. Now what? I see him. Stay close, Shepard. I'm following. Oh, shit. Please come in here. All right. Talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Target in sight. Shit, where are they? Fuck, where are they? What's wrong? Where is he now? He's meeting a 
couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. Looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. back here i'm with the uh, citadel health and safety we've had vermin reports and storage areas around here what? you can't be serious how did you get in here if i didn't have authorization how did i get in you see any other doors there's the keeper never mind just just go on through okay thanks yeah yeah just don't let my boss see you i've got him i'm following oh shit Your father. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. All of you, back off. I'll kill him. Sorry, Thane. Never hold a gun on someone unless you're willing to make them feel pain like that. Get outside, Talit. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. There we go. All right. through a lot. 
I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree mm. to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Yes? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. In a mi the flagship of the rogue X Spectre, Saren Arterius. Sovereign is a devastating dreadnought of unprecedented power. Sovereign was believed to have been powered by a gigantic Element Zero core, the only energy source potent enough to land the massive vessel on a planet. During the Eden Prime War, the ship unleashed its peerless destructive force against which Citadel Council ships were defenseless. With a virtually indestructible flagship and a crew of fanatic Geth and Krogan, Saren nearly succeeded in wiping out all his enemies. Only the resourcefulness and bravery of the commander and crew of the SSV Normandy stopped him. The overwhelming power of Sovereign ignited bizarre speculation in tabloid media that the vessel was sent by extragalactic invaders, or was, despite indeterminate photographic evidence at best, a single giant robot. Some sources even claimed that Sovereign was alive. Such conjecture, however baseless, remains to this day. Loot trade in a warehouse in the New York market. Zone. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Citadel News Den. I'm Emily Wong. The corpse of Denaria Claris, the Santa reported missing from Kithoi Ward has been found. CSEC has issued a statement that foul play is suspected in Clarice's death. The investigation is ongoing. Come on, please, you have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date.
can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What if they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Uh oh? Is that why you're sitting here in public, whining loud enough for anyone walking by to overhear? Fine. You want to know? Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. The planet Canalis in the Dorada system recently underwent rapid climate change. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? This is the warehouse where Garrus set up a meeting with the forger. If you wish to find Fade, Garrus should accompany you. I just oh, talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a server? So I gotta go to my ship just to get my squad members right. Oh man. So I gotta walk all the way back to the Normandy. Let's see, rapid transit. Okay, good. This has rapid transit. Why would you come to a Zakara Ward warehouse? He said they were out of stock, and I should go here. Say anything about the service order. Hey, nice. Just gonna say. Don't make me go all the way back. Alright. Which is loyal to get this added up. One, three, five. Yeah, that'll be enough after he's loyal. All right. 
There we go. There it is. Conveniently located to where I need to be. This looks like the place. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? You sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I would... What's up, punks? Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? Uh, I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lovely. What's up, bitch? Why do I even bother? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Dead, yes. Of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? They use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, not hmm? really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago, but he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh. Good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hill a cab. Just got a refund and exchange, and I was told to pick up. Herder here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Where are we going? To the factory where Harkin is hiding out. I've been streaming almost three hours. Stand there, stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! 
Six hundred credits in a trash can. What the hell? The fight's hard, though. This one seems sad. Sensors activated. Please reconsider oh. your aggressive attitude. They should punch through their armor. Arkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him.
Yo, get out of my way. Shit, I lost my bonus. God damn it. Tricky one. Woo! Got it. Do I get a second chance? you uh, fuck where is it Oop, one more fuck god damn it oh did I get it Woo. that was, just, was a little bit lax there Oh shit! Damn, this is a tough battle. Oh shit! What if she's gonna tempt me back to the beginning or at the bridge? Okay, cool. Damn. Let's go. Weapons ready. <laughs>
Heavy mech overhead. Watch out. Get the cover. Combat Rosa. Away. Dude, get on cover. The fuck. Finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Paris. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. something he's getting ready for us you still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him that's the plan it'll be quick and painless unlike everyone he betrayed he'll be spared the agony of a slow death it's more than he deserves but as long as he's dead I'll be satisfied what do you think Parkins got waiting? not sure it looks like an industrial complex something's in there Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. You still planning to kill Sedona? It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I have to do this. I don't expect you to understand, but please don't try to stop me. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Can't click on it if it's not there. There we go. Red, white, green. Dude. Fuck! It wasn't there to click on that I saw anyway. Alright, let's try again. Fuck you. Missed my chance. Hmm. Dude. Let's go. Fuck you, bitch. God damn.
two blue lines towards the top. White and the two blue line pattern. Blue in the middle pattern. Fuck! And hell, this better be a good reward. God damn! Can't click on it if it's not there. What the fuck? Where is it? Oh, this is shit. It's not there to click on. What the fuck is this? How can I fucking do it if it's not even fucking there to click on? Jeez, finally. Holy fuck. This looks interesting. Nice. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Why don't you just turn around? Oh shit. One down. Want some more?
Oh, what's up, bitch boy? I said, what's up, bitch boy? You were close, but not close enough. So, fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No. Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. No funny business there, Fade. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. Maybe give Caesar the blood trail to follow. Bastard! We're done here. <gasps> Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Hmm? Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this? Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. I'll be here soon.
Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Hmm. Listen, Sedonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. Hmm. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. Hmm. You've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sedonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. Let's go then. Right with you. So now that he's loyal, yep, I should be able to like this. Squad share power is always awesome. All right, and hmm, I'll save it up for the warp ammo. Yeah. Level 27, near 26, level 27. It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you... Since you're kind, we've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. 
Maybe these would work. They're new transit IDs. You... How did you get those? If you don't want them, I could just take them back. No, no, I'll take them. With thanks. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Where's the shuttle? missions too. Layer the shadow broker. Hmm. Eh, let's try this one. Go to the docking area and take a cap to Layer's apartment. I don't know if this is the right place for that. Commander, you've received a new message. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Ooh, what's this? Definitely. Okay, I only got 2,703 left, so let's say I could do this. Scribe bonus 6% plus tick power damage. Sniper damage. I uh, we'll do that. And that's it. Oh. Hmm. Ah, uh, because it's different materials. Yeah, we'll do that too. Got a minute to talk. Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. 
Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Hmm. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people, faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Solarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other hmm. secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning mm. perceived as contagious among humans. Mm. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Mm -hmm. It's true too. Faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but... Effectiveness limited. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Morden. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's soulless biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud mm. posthumously in that case. Regardless. Mm. Thank you. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. Is on. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine, to share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. Asari. Following the Battle of the Citadel, human and Turian volunteers conducted a massive three month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive element zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. 
Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. The Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. launched. launched. Let's see here. Going to the taxi. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fast travel, so I gotta go. I gotta walk over there. All the way there. Holy shit. God damn, really? Ugh. Oh. Me, like he fast travel. Me, like he fast travel.
That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right. Okay, there. listen. Give Fax a full refund. Do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get your ass up Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, sir. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. <laughs> so, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Chisoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. Mm. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Hmm. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. The rifle used to do that wasn't so much. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Hmm. Don't worry, Commander. We'll find her. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, Avanthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. 
What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. Glad I got here before those amateurs got their jam hands on everything. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disk. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sikat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. <laughs> How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Let's roll. Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Oh shit. Liara's in there. By the goddess. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Hmm? <laughs> uh, what happened? The blast knocked me up my feet. Someone please help me. Was it a bomb? What happened? Who are you? What's going on? Killing everyone. Hey, I'm trying to save people, but I want some money too, right? Here we go. Vizier, I found a military grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Here. I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. 
Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limitless possibilities. Yes. Expansion. Exploration. <coughs> What's up, bitches? Whoa. Yo. Embrace eternity. Where are they? Whoa, bitch, get the fucking cover. Damn it. These damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppressant systems. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down.
I'll take it. Let's go, bitches. What the fuck's this? Up. Oh. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Hmm. Is this again? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Oh shit. Yeah, bitch. Liara. Something I should know? This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. So what? You were just using me to find Nothing personal, Shepard. Just needed a little help tracking down Liara. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure Damn it. Get that bitch. Yeah. Oh. Dude, get out of my way. Oh my god. Go over there, go over there. Other fucker. Trying to fucking move, you're fucking blocking me. Pick up, bitch.
Fuck off, bitch. God damn it. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Around the corner. Hurry, Shepard, we're losing. We're not going into the construction site, are? Huh? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go! I'm going. Traffic, oncoming traffic. We'll be fine. Oh. She's dropping proximity charges. Oh shit. Oh. Yep. You okay? Still better than the makeup. She's got reinforcements. What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Uh. Truck. I know. Truck. Yo! Oh shit! There we go. You're enjoying this. <laughs> I had on colors of this speed. Yeah, I hear those can be bad things. Oh shit! 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 Truck. Again? Whoa! Let's go! What's up, bitch? Now what? All right. You going down, bitch? So I crashed on Azure. Get me some damn backup. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. That 
Yo! God damn. Yo, get the fuck out of the way. The fucking controls in this game is so so suck. So fucking suck. Oh, if it was only first person like Call of Duty. God damn it. Oh. It's like run, select, and take cover is all the same goddamn button. That's not cool. Gotta pause the game, gotta uh, scratch my. Got a little booger in my or something. Alright. Mmm. Around the corner, bitch. Fuck. I'll put them where we need. <laughs> Hit. 
Watch out, flashbangs. Pick up, bitch. Pick up. We can climb over to get to Vizier's car. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Uh... Hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. She's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough. I'll give her that much. She's a specter.
up. I gotta turn on the air conditioning. Sorry for the background noise, but I'm sweating. It's an AC. Uh. Yo, what's up, blue bitch? Vizier, it's over. Hey, hey you! Come here, what's your name? M Mariana. Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. Basir, you don't need to do this. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells, too. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Liara. Noise! What's up, bitch? They've seen us. Oh, shit. Yo, let me duck down a little bit. I'm taking fire. Damn, she's fast. Back in a bit. Have fun. They're under control. What is she? Oh shit! No, run, 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 run. run. Got them. Enemy combat drones. Enemy drone. Singularity 
deployed. Enemy. Oh. I've heard them. Yo. I'll finish you myself. Watch out, shockwave. Uh. Where is she? How do you like that? Going down, man. Oh shit, and your fucking shock wave. God damn it. Now what? You went down, bitch. So. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Sakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever yeah, faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councilors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences. But they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions? And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Don't you? Focus. Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Basir's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Basir before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing? When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy's stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. That's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vasir's fault, not yours. Sikat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. Mm. I did it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. 
Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? You haven't been the same since I came back, Liara. What do you want me to say, Shepard? That I mourned you? That I feel guilty because Farron got captured? I made mistakes. I lost people. I helped get you back. And I want to do the same for Farron. I'll sit and talk once he's safe. Until then, enjoying the scenery is an insult to the man who saved both of us. Okay, let's go. Snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. The Shadow Broker lives in this? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. <laughs> Stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. the fucking running in this game. You, say you can't be sure where you can fucking walk and run and climb. It's like such fucking horrible controls. So look, in any other game, oh look, I can just climb here, right? Oh no, no, you can't go. Can I go here? There we go, finally. Oh. I hope they improve that fucking system in, in fucking game three. Why are they attacking? They must think we're debris from the storm.
Contractors. I think we can guess.
Fuck the controller system. God damn fucking control system. Holy shit. Oh, oh, do. Agents love patrolling the home. At least the view is nice. There, that hatch leads directly to the communication 
Uh, let's get it. I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Yep. Not this one, anyway. Nothing can hurt me. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? You have more of them. Tell me you tested it. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? That security uh. upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way. We've been Shoot fine. your eyes. She gone. Why doesn't it take cover when I tell it to take cover? Stay right here. Take cover. Alright.
aggressive. Fuck! Don't take cover where they are. Oh uh, my god. Nothing can out. hurt me! Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Farron. I thought this looked too easy. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Ah, ah, ah. Shepard, we really don't have the time. <laughs> what do you know about the broker? <laughs> he did this to me. Tell us where to go. Central operations is down the hall. You know the shadow broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to help us see. Get an LOS. Paint the marks. Watch out. <laughs>
Oh, a trophy. Heart of Darkness trophy earned. What's up, bitch? Here for the drill. Reckless, even for you, Commander. That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Ferrin betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The drill is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival Collector's offer still stands. Be hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Enough talk. My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. Thank you for bringing me Okir's project to Sony. His dissection will be interesting. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg, a pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld for massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Let's go, bitch boy! Say hello to my little friend. Kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now. Why aren't my people helping me? What are they doing? There we go. Oh, where's, where's my fucking Krogan?
If you can get him to bring up that shield again, I've got an idea. There they are. <laughs> Fucking run, dude! What the fuck? Was that pretty shocking? That was a shocking surprise. Resume standard procedures. What the fuck? I want a status report on all operations within the next solar day. Shadow broker out. Goddess of oceans, it's you. <laughs> you how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead. So you're the new shadow broker. Taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. different people. You have your mission, and for now, we need to figure out our options. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here, and it's all ours.
What kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. Thank you, Shepard. For everything. That's what I was waiting for. For the squad. Oh, this is for pocket change. Oh yeah. 300, pocket change.
Hmm. Understanding body language, human edition. Powers just the way they are, man. I picked good powers. I pick all good powers, dude. Right. I think I was here before.
delivery pickup. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed mm. to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. I know, but you have someone. I spent two years hunting for the Shadow Broker. I need to find out what happens next. Maybe someday we'll be together. But for now, you deserve to be happy. At least let me take you out of here. You can see the new Normandy. Maybe have a drink. I'd like that. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where my eyes do that mm. freaky black eternity thing. <sighs> of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chakwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I hmm. recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. <clears throat> I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? A chance to give Miss Vaz Normandy a homeworld?
I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. Hmm. I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Come back soon. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Yep. Oh, we're down to the stop collect mission. I get the film I'm near the end of the game, but uh, I only got one, two, three, four, five side missions. This one seems like a boring one. Collect packages. Yeah. Like, eh. To dig site. Um. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Let's try to do this one. Alright. Because then she'll be a part of my group, probably. I think. And now I got one empty person slot. Checking out something. That's what she said. She said, trouble away, big boy. Probe launched. Away. 
or forget it. Deplete it. Just out of curiosity. Deplete is the worst it can be. Yeah, get out of there. All right, so let's see. Let's see. We gotta go somewhere. Hmm. Oh shit. Ah, uh, mass relay is way over here. Fuel at one half capacity. Uh, there's the different uh, mine information. Let's see. Rescue Dr. Kenson. If any rich, I ain't looking right now. Oh, there's a little guy. Maximum Paragon. Oh, maybe not, because there's a little space below it. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, is this a solo mission? Weird. Just me. All right. Um, you know, let me just jump down. It's gotta be weird. What the fuck? Okay, how the hell do I get down there? Oh my god. This is where the game gets frustrating. It's like, dude, in real life I would just hop down. What the fuck's the fucking issue? Oh my god. All right, gotta go around, I guess. This place 
place is run down, even for a prison. Plug in my controller because the battery's getting low. Let's see how long did it last. Eh, five and a half hours.
Yo, bitch! What's up? Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're looking at a major diplomatic incident if the Batarians find out I was involved. This evidence had better be worth it. It is. The Reapers are coming. Diplomacy is the least of our worries. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Be a security console here somewhere. Oh, shit.
They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Suppress the teams to cell block. Now. we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Yo, why aren't you ducking, bitch? We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. other side. More enemies on the elevators. that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Yeah, get done, goddammit. That did it. Let's move. bonus in here? Yeah, I guess not. No, uh, there's a bonus. Well, just bolts. Alright. Oh shit. Burn. Deploying flammable.
We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Let's do it. I sent a trophy. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy them? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. <laughs> I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's mm. destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip. And the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. You're trying to commit genocide against the Batarians, oh dude. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row. A Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Prepare your voice, Doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time.
Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Oh, shit. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. You know, you could just, like, lead me there. Why, why are you telling me where to go? So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. What about the 300,000 lives down there? We should evacuate them. Project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. What? Stop the arrival? Take him down! Can't stop the Reapers? What the fuck is this bullshit? Over here! Bitches, fucking traitor. Yeah, I'm the fucking legend, bitch. That shit. I'm the fucking man, bitch. What? Oh, fuck you. Of course I walk up to the guy that fucking has the fucking laser beam shit. Fucking prick. Oh, I'm loading this. We're gonna defeat them.
I'm loading the game. Fuck that shit. Nope. I'm loading it. I will beat them. Take him to the med bay and patch him up. We want Shepard alive. Dude, we gotta load that game. I'm gonna try again. I think I can. I can beat him. Although it seems like this is a whole thing. But it could be a glitch in the system. Uh. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Now we're 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 going to try this again. Um I don't know if it was after or before the battle though, damn it. Uh-huh. Alright. Alright, you motherfucking bitch. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard. I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson. You start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Fuck you, your bitch. Traitor. Take him down. There. Fuck, no, 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 no. Oh. Fuck. I wonder if this is like an unbeatable part. I'll, I'll play through this time. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! What's up, bitch? Okay, 
so I should be able to... I'm controlling the fucking robot, this mech, so I can open the door, probably. Let's Hostiles see. detected. Backup systems engaged. Fuck. How do I turn off the power? Let's rock, bitches. I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here.
project anymore. And I know I'm not the only one having those dreams. The Reapers are coming, she says. But I'm not sure if I'm hearing fear or hope in her voice. What's up, bitch? You won't get through here, Shepard. to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you Shit. Wish to what if it's a trick? But we're going to do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. 
Not if I get to you first. Fuck. Don't die on me. God damn it. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop now, Kenson. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. You're forcing my hand, Shepard. You know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. The Reapers are the bad guys, you bitch. Damn it, Kenson. Supposed to go. Safety protocol disengaged. Core temperature rising. Uh, why didn't you duck? No bullets? God damn it. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A. They've seen it. Fuck. <laughs> what? Nobody's dropping any fucking bullets? God damn it. Fuck. Come die, bitch.
Fuck! Oh, you're a bitch. Goddamn bitch. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, how far back is it gonna take me? Let's find out. She's usually pretty good with the auto saves. Oh, shit. Took me back to my bullets too. So where am I supposed to go down there somehow? Oh shit! Fuck! Finally, some reloads. Yes. game. God damn it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go?
Fuck you. Oh shit, they're there too. Fuck you, fuck. Oh, fucking behind me they came. Oh, they fucking came from behind. God damn it. Good thing I saved not too far back. Fucking bastards. Oh, bitch! Why are you fucking psycho bitch?
Yo, cycle bitch. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reapers arrive. They're evil. All you had to do was... Yeah, all I had to do was shoot you in the head, bitch. Oh shit! Now what? Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Oh shit, how am I getting out of this one? Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Oh, I can't just jump over. Fucking control system. Where am I supposed to go? Well, fuck. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me?
Shepard. You have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? I didn't leave any details out of my report. Well, I was hoping to hear it from you. Without looking at this, I'm assuming you confirmed Kenson's proof. I did. She had a Reaper artifact that gave her visions of their arrival. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. Understood. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood. And there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? 
We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encountered the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? You got a minute to Not talk. at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot, but it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander.
Let's see, Overlord. No talk messages to, for you, Commander. Talk to some people first. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the sad... Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your your funny human thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control, that's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not mm -hmm. dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. Mm -hmm. You gave me purpose. Nice. Now let's find something big to kill. What can we do for you, Commander? How did you wind Once up you were gone, but it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made Carry it up. Well do, Commander. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? But I can't tell you, but I, I understand see. if you need to find something. So she ain't gonna say anything new else. until right Just before we do the final mission. I don't want to risk your health. Probably. Yep. Just out of curiosity, let's see how pissed Jack is at me. Fuck off! Fuck off! And that's what I thought. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. 
Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Aradyakshi. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. You broke it off with Jack. Hmm? I don't know what to say. That seems about as safe as mooning a Krogan. Mm -hmm. I'd advise caution. Tally is so cute. You're all she talks about in that sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. Mm -hmm. I thought she was coming on to me at first. But maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone? Staring at walls and metal and plastic. Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contract. <laughs> my employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell might have different from the past. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. Hmm. That's a strange way of looking at yourself. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. Hey. Bystander noticed my spotty laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. Did you take the shot? Not that day. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. 
it seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. This crew is pretty diverse. You must have something in common with some of them. Get out of this room and talk to them. I shall consider it. I won't keep you. Miranda, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. The Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I think we'll be beating this game tonight. Man, I gotta take a break though. I gotta eat some. Oh shit. Time flies when you're having fun. Alright, see you. Oh shit, this is Earth. Just curious, what can we mine on Earth? Oh, that's Venus. Oh, it doesn't let me mine Earth. Interesting. This won't be mine any of them. Alright. Hmm. Quiet Reaper IFF. Okay, we're gonna gotta we gotta take a break. I gotta eat some food, so we're just gonna get there and then we're gonna quit out. So let's see. Where's the mission at? Where is the mission at? Aha, uh -huh. this is the place we want to go. All right. Oh, 
for lower this away. launched. Zero. Probe launched. Probe launched. launched.
That's what she said. It's going to be tight. Shit, what? Taking heavy fire! 
This should soften them up. One less to worry about. Where's my backup? Where's my fucking backup? But we're gonna we're gonna stop broadcast now and because it's been seven hours we're gonna take a little break. Later on tonight or tomorrow we'll be back. Probably tonight.